Here we have a question on scatter graphs and correlation. If you've not had a go at this question, do pause the video and have a go now. OK. In this question, we've got Harriet reads eight books, and those points of data are recorded on this graph. So the number of pages across the bottom and the time it takes her to read it up the side. So you would expect the smaller number of pages, the quicker that she reads the book. So um, the question is, describe the relationship between the number of pages in the book and the time how it takes to read it. So we can either do this by talking about what's technically called correlation, which is how closely the, the data points um, match a straight line. Or we could just talk about it in terms of what the variables are, so number of pages and time. So we could say that uh, the greater the number of pages, the more time it takes to read. Or, more succinctly, if we use the uh, phrase correlation, we can just describe that as positive correlation, which means that as one thing increases, the other one increases as well. Now, second part of this question, I mean, it's a pretty standard question. How it reads another book, the book has 150 pages, so we're given one piece of information. And we have to use a line of best fit to figure out what the uh, other bit of information would be. So we have to draw a line of best fit around this data. Now, when we do that, um, I would encourage you to, to maybe think about the data as a sort of oval of information and try to draw your line of best fit through the middle of that oval. Quite often, what a lot of people tend to do is to join up the first and last point, and that's not always a very good line of best fit. So what we're trying to do here is to get a line so that the same amount of information is on one side as the other and the, the gaps between the information and the line are as small as possible. So something like that. We've got four bits on this side, four bits on that side, and of sort of similar distances from the line. If you have one bit of information that's quite far away, we can just ignore that. Um, but we've got to try and draw a line that goes through the information as best as possible. So estimate the time it takes for Harriet to read um, 150 page book. So if we just draw an arrow in here, so we've got 150 pages, which is here. We draw an arrow up to the line, and then from there we draw an arrow to here, so where we can read it off. We should be able to tell the value is between 7, which is here, and 8. So according to my diagram, it's about 7.5 hours. Now, the range of values you're allowed here, if you have it somewhere between 7 and 8, you will get 2 marks. Um, if you only have it between 6 and 9, um, you'd only get the 1 mark. Um, it does help if you draw an arrow on here so the person can mark in your work can see which value you've actually taken. Okay, and there we have correlation and scatter graphs.